Your day of surgery actually begins the afternoon before. That is when you receive a call from the hospital telling you what time you should plan to arrive for surgery. If you are having surgery on a Monday, you will receive your call on Friday afternoon. You will be instructed to have nothing to eat or drink after midnight the evening before your surgery. If you have medications that you have been instructed to take the morning of surgery, you need to take them with a sip of water, just enough to get the medications down. The morning of surgery, you should not have on any makeup, nail polish on your fingernails or toenails, or hair products such as gel, mousse, or hairspray. All jewelry should be removed, including all piercings. If a ring can't be removed, it will be taped before surgery. When you arrive the day of surgery, you will enter the hospital through the main entrance and go to the information desk. A volunteer will bring you and your care coach or family member to the same day surgery area. This is where all surgical patients begin the process. Throughout your surgical process, from admitting to discharge, your care team will ask you many of the same questions repeatedly, such as your name, date of birth, reason you are in the hospital, and what type of procedure you are having done. Rest assured, we know the answers to these questions. However, this is just another way South County Hospital safeguards patients. Once you've checked in, you'll be escorted to a pre-operative admission room, where we'll go over what to expect for the day, ask a few questions about your current health, start intravenous fluids, and if needed, draw some final blood samples for testing. Your care coach is welcome to keep you company in the admission room during this part of the process. You will meet with members of the surgical team, including your surgeon, and an anesthesiologist who can answer any last minute questions you or your care coach might have. Your surgeon will mark the area to be operated on, and your care coach will be shown to the waiting room. About 45 minutes before the start of surgery, you will go to another pre-surgical area where any regional or spinal anesthesia will be administered by the anesthesiologist. While you are in surgery, your care coach and any other friends and family who are waiting for you will be able to follow your progress using special digital displays that indicate whether you are in pre-op, in surgery, or in the recovery room. Most single joint surgeries last about one hour and 15 minutes. Then you are in post-surgical recovery for several hours. Generally, the surgeon will go out and speak with your family to let them know how the surgery went. This will occur about two to two and a half hours after they went to the waiting area. In total, it will be about four to five hours from the time you go from the admission area until you are in your room and reunited with your care coach and family. After you have tolerated some clear liquids, you are allowed to eat what you want. It is not uncommon to be nauseous, dizzy, or have a lack of appetite at this time. The lack of appetite you may experience is your body's way of letting you know you may not be ready for a full meal. When your food tray arrives, eat what you like and leave what you don't. Forcing yourself to eat at this time may cause more nausea and possibly vomiting. If you are hungry later, we have food and snack items to carry you through to the next meal.